Sitting in front of me is a uh, Predator 3500 version one. Uh, there are two versions, actually three, uh, from Harbor Freight. And in my other video, uh, I, I have explained what's the difference between version one and version two. I won't go through that in this video. It just makes it t twice as long than it should. And basically I'm repeating myself since uh, I explained it, explained it in my other video. But anyways, moving on, there have been a lot of questions of how to hook up our kit uh, onto natural gas and this part of the video uh, will explain uh, in a bit of detail on how to do that and I've got a lot of questions on how to connect this on natural gas so the first part is um, here I get a lot of questions about well can I just buy the fuel adapter and I'm just gonna plumb it directly from my natural gas line to the generator it, it doesn't work that way it's not that simple here when you get the kit, it's already set up for propane. It's gonna be uh, tied in like this. You would need to remove this propane pressure regulator. This regulates pressure. This is called the demand regulator, and you can read up about this on this um, on our website. You guys gotta really go through our website and read all the infos and watch all the videos. You know, I, I've gotten a lot of questions and comments about what is this regulator? Why are there two regulators? What is that? You, you have to do a little bit of homework before um, you, you you guys email me. I, I, I don't mind taking emails, but when it becomes to the point where I'm trying to explain things, you just, you know, don't quite understand. It makes it harder to, to kind of follow through as I'm explaining, trying to explain this. So I figured I'll make a video and tell you on the difference between there's two regulators on this assembly right so this is pressure regulator this regulates pressure this regulates volume of fuel flow all right so here's the input and this is the output all right so this needs to be removed because when you're connected to natural gas natural gas is already regulated at the meter and this is only used for propane so you unscrew this you get a fitting a quick connect fitting so on our website we will have a kit where you can set up for natural gas um if you like well, uh, I've getting, been getting a lot of quests saying, that, hey, uh, can you build me a kit for a natural gas hookup? Of course, we'll do that for you. Just makes it easier. And you tie this into the demand regulator. The demand regulator acts like the carburetor for an engine, right? But it, but it doesn't deal with liquid fuels. It deals with vapor fuels. So inside, there's a diaphragm that regulates the fuel flow. And in, in, in the middle of the diaphragm, there's a needle. There's that valve needle, and it regulates how much propane, propane, sorry, uh, how much uh, natural gas, excuse me, um, gets fed into the generator, all right? So, and it does that by, um, by a vacuum. So as, uh, as the engine produces a vacuum signal, because this gets tied into the, um, the carburetor, I don't have the cover off, but you just kind of follow through with me. Uh, there's a little bit of a vacuum being produced and this vacuum signal pulls against the diaphragm and it lifts up on the needle on the inside and it lets the uh, natural gas flow through it and it does it varies uh, the um, the fuel flow depending on how much vacuum signal there is so you'll tie this in this is a nat this is my natural gas line you'll tie this into the demand regulator right so this okay again guys this is the propane pressure regulator you do not need that you need to take this off you need to get a hose plumb it into the demand regulator right this these two regulators are not the same i have to explain this you know again and again they are not the same all right so another question is how does it get hooked up to the natural gas meter so this is a uh, half inch inside diameter line uh anything more than uh 10 foot requires a half inch inside diameter line the half inch inside diameter line is non-standard so it's going to be a bit expensive all right more more a little bit more expensive than three eighths and the reason why it has to be that large is because uh as the line gets longer it's going to it's going to cause a restriction of fuel flow so you don't want to cause the restriction of fuel flow if you do that you actually at this point right here less fuel will come out of that line all right, imagine this, it's like, it's like running a marathon while breathing through a straw. You're not gonna get very far. So you're gonna have to open up the line here to a bigger line. And this connects to the side of my house, all right? And the side of my house is the gas meter. And this is how you tie it in. 
you tie this in upstream before all of your appliances. You do not want to tie this into your uh, water heater downstream. Reason being is, is because as soon as your gas appliance turns on, it's gonna take away fuel from your generator and it's gonna reduce the performance of your generator, right? So you actually wanna tie this in before all of your gas appliances so you get uninterrupted fuel flow. That's the key, uninterrupted fuel flow. So here comes in, right? Here is some ground, comes in. Gas gets uh, regulated down, comes through here and it gets tapped here and this end goes into the house. This is the proper way of setting it up. All right, so here is the quick connect. Uh, this is an inch quick connect to a ball valve. And I do recommend this. This is UL listed. This is UL listed. If you do not use UL listed products, depending on um, where you live, the inspector will come out and actually will tell you to remove the equipment because it's not UL listed. It's very rare to find a UL listed um, quick connect and a uh, gas ball valve. And some, in my inspector, in my, in my local township, they would require actually a locking ball valve. So you lift up on there, goes on, lock goes down, you can't move it. So that way kids don't come by and are curious to open this up and start playing with stuff. So this is actually kind of rare. Um, I'll uh, probably post this on my website if you guys really do need it, or I'll, or I'll just give you a link on where to purchase this. But it's, um, it's as you can see, UL listed. Uh, some inspectors require that and they want to see that so, uh, some places I believe in Texas they don't require an inspection or they don't require to pull a permit but most states do so that's another reason uh, I, I don't really give out um, uh, much info on how to connect for natural gas you actually have to have a professional contractor come out and do this for you I can't do that for you because I'm not sitting in front of your meter looking at how you're setting things up uh, a contractor can do that for you i can provide fittings and such for you to do so um, but if i'm not physically in front of the meter looking at your equipment i can't do that so it's kind of hard for me to kind of um, customize an exact kit natural gas hookup kit for your setup this right here this um this is a reducer uh, there should be a clamp on here, but I was in a hurry. This is not the proper way of doing it, so just disregard this. But you'll get a hose, and it's all properly crimped and such. Uh, so just ignore that part. But most importantly, they're going to want to see this, all right? So that's how you connect for the natural gas setup. It's the proper way we're doing it. And the cost for that was, for me, um, not including the, um, the items itself, for the contractor to come out, plumb this through, he charged me about $500. Um, that right there was, uh, I believe it was $50 and that right there was 60 some dollars, not in the line and everything else. So it came close to be about, um, eight or $900 until everything was said and done. Just about the hose was not cheap. Um, I use a UL listed hose. I don't use cheap Chinese hoses or anything like that. Reason being is because if there's any cracks, or any uh, leaks in this line, especially the ball, the quick connect. I don't use Chinese non-UL listed quick connect is because if this leaks, right? And you have pets or you have kids playing in the area and you can't really see uh, gas leakage. You may smell it, but sometimes animals or whatever will linger around. Um, you can actually die from a gas leak or your kids or your pets can die from a gas leak. So is it worth saving a couple bucks just to have that installed onto there and you know have something like that cause an incident? It's not worth it, all right? So you don't want that liability. You want to use, uh, especially if you, you know, you're buying, you're spending good money on a generator, why would you cheap out on anything, all right? So do it right. For me, I'm a tool guy. I, I like equipment, I like tools, and I like spending money on good tools. That's why, you know, uh, I made this kit. So the line comes from there, all the way up here, right? <coughs> and goes into here. So when you have a line this long, you're gonna wanna prime it because you wanna wanna, you're gonna wanna remove all the air from the line as soon as you hook up. But once you get it all primed out, you don't have to prime, you don't have to bleed the, the air out of the line again because it's already all, all the air is already all bled out. So once it does come through, oh, I, um, when you have this set up, 
the demand regulator has to sit upright like this. It doesn't matter if it's upside down, it just has to sit upright. Uh, I don't have a bracket for this now, but I will be making a bracket later that will hang off the front of this panel and you can move it to side to side and that way it just hangs off all the front or you can actually set it have it set up here uh it's gonna look a lot nicer than having it kind of just dangle out uh, remotely next to the generator so just just kind of disregard this for now but i'm just having it sit up right how it should all right so that's turned on i'm gonna have it primed i'm gonna press the button three times about uh, two or three seconds each time right that's in there. Make sure that when you start it up that the ESC throttle is off and you can just hit start. bit about this kit this is a non-intrusive no drill kit so right here this is where we have the input line for the um, for natural gas and propane we don't I the reason why I made this kit is due to requests of, of a few customers of mine who don't want to be drilling or uh, modifying their generator to run a, a tri-fuel kit so <coughs> excuse me this this cover goes on of the existing oil cover you can as you take this off you can actually there's still enough room for do for you to do an oil change so it's not a big deal but what's nice about this kit is it's, it's completely bolt-on um when you take it out of the box there should be no fuel adjustments from before but when you run a natural gas you might have to adjust it this is set at from uh from uh from us we set it at 19 millimeters measured from here to here so you get a digital caliper uh, well, I don't have it with me right at the moment, but I'll show I'll, I'll show it to you later. But you measure from here to here, and you get so when set on propane, it's uh, set at 19 millimeters. From, measure from here to here, but for a natural gas, you set it at 20 millimeters, right? And inside this right here, this is the carburetor and the fuel adapter. Um, you need to remove the propane jet orifice, and uh, once you remove that, put the hose back in, and that's it to run it to run it on. Um, natural gas it only takes about five minutes to do so and you put this whole cover back on and everything else is so so when you take this off you have a dust plug right that's how it sits and yes you can still use gasoline if you want oh and uh, another note uh as mentioned previously in the other video this is the light bar right this is the kill switch and this is the on off for it um this kill switch is nice when you have this behind this switch is uh is the the manual um fuel cutoff valve and the, the um, and the kill switch for the ignition system 
This allows you to turn the valve, the gasoline valve, gas valve all the way on the off position so that way you're not dripping fuel into the into the float bowl while running on alternative fuel. It turns everything off and it bypasses the kill switch, the switch does. That way so you can still keep the gener keep the ignition system alive and you'll be able, you, you'll be able to run the alternative fuel. If you should there's it should be an emergency situation or anything like that, you can push this button and you can um, kill the generator that way. I, I'd rather have you turn turn off the, the gas at the valve right there. I would only use this if you really need to use it. So this kit will be for sale. Uh, I, I've just finished it up. I know a uh, customer's been emailing me and I apologize if it's taken this long. We just had some huge supplier issues. A lot of the local fab shops and neighboring fab shops, they they refuse to take on any more work due to worker shortages and so forth. And it just, this year has been an uphill battle. Today's Thanksgiving, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working today. That's how much you know, I'm showing you guys how much I'm trying to get this kit done. I'm working on a holiday and I'm doing my best to get other kits out as well too. And I'm also trying to get the kit out for the, the version, uh, version two of the 3500, Harbor Freight Mate 3. The third version is actually similar to this, but it has the um, carbon monoxide sensor in the front, and I, but I call it the third version. But this is the original that came out and I believe the reason why Harbor Freight made another one but still call it 3500 is because they themselves last year had a uh, had supply issues and these things were, were flying off the shelves and Harbor Freight couldn't keep up so they actually had a, another contract another factory to make these so that way they can still keep their customers happy so all right guys appreciate it um, if there's any comments or questions please let me know subscribe to our channel uh, gives us a thumbs up and that way we can um, you know continue making more videos and content for you guys thanks